just today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Autolink software to use the inbuilt Apple CarPlay in this Android based touchscreen which we have put in on the Porsche Cayenne. So what we got to do is from the main menu we got to go to Bluetooth first. Okay, right now there are no devices spared as you can see. We'll have to pull up the iPhone. I think I need to do my face ID. And uh, what we do is we go to Bluetooth and uh, we search for devices. So if you see BT0043 is the device. What we do is select pair. It'll ask me whether I want to allow to sync the contacts. It's important, we'll have to do that. And right now the app is automatically pulled up, but the most important thing is the we have to give the use CarPlay uh, permission without which a wireless CarPlay won't work as you can see there's no wires connected to this the Bluetooth's pairing up and once that's done yeah there we go so wireless CarPlay is enabled so basically we can use the touch screen now to operate different things you can have your GPS Apple Maps you do have Google Maps option too we can add in a destination here, basically picking up our work, home and stuff. Uh, we could play music. One important thing that uh, I would like to tell you is uh, Spotify, for it to work properly, we will need the Spotify app launched on the device. So if I hit Spotify here, generally if we pick up like a song and, and if it's not playing, then we'll have to launch the app. So if you see right here, the iPhone has got like, the application launched out here anyways so we could play music we could use voice commands so I could say hey Siri navigate to MG Road please Yeah, so it's kind of picked up the GPS. Uh, we can continue using, changing the volume and stuff. Right? Starting route to NH75. All right, so it's... Head southwest on 3rd Main Road. Then turn right onto 2nd Crossroad. This works with the latest version of IS 14.4. So pretty much latest updated. We've got uh, the main... Uh, uh, this is a, basically a vertical screen. So we get to see a lot more icons in the... Uh, generally on Apple CarPlay you get to see eight icons or ten icons at a time here there are 12 icons at a time so it's adapted to this view now this is a split screen option so you know we could have the GPS and yet have music control right here so if I play press stop playing all right let's pause that now if we would like to stop using Apple CarPlay on this device wireless CarPlay what one thing we can do is just hit home so it just goes out of CarPlay you can continue to do what you want to and then uh, if you'd like to use CarPlay again just come back to Autolink so that's one thing or if we want to disconnect the iPhone what we have to do is turn off both the Bluetooth as well as the Wi-Fi on the device. Bluetooth settings. So it, yeah, it prompts disconnect from CarPlay. So I say disconnect. All right. Sometimes you'll have to manually override it. So you'll have to go and shut off the Wi-Fi as well as the Bluetooth yourself. Now you see it's, it's gone back to the AutoKit main page where it's waiting for a phone to connect. We can use uh, Wired Android Auto 2 on this uh, same application.